For the first time since the pandemic, small business owners have the highest national rent delinquency rate. According to Alignable.com, 43% of small business renters were not able to pay their rent in full or on time in April. That's up 4% from March and the highest since March of 2021 when the world was in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. Joining me now are three small business owners, Andy Ellert, owner of the Manda Machine Company, Caitlin Swaffer, co-owner of Just Baked Bakery and Deli, and Mimi Striplin, founder and CEO of The Tiny Tassel. I want to thank you all for joining me. I have friends who are small business owners, and they constantly lament to me the struggles with hiring, keeping people, retention. There are just so many challenges that come with being a small business owner. But Mimi, I want to start with you. You own a brick and mortar store in Charleston, South Carolina. Have you struggled to pay your rent or other bills? We have for the past six months. It's been a challenge every few months of do we pay payroll or do we pay our rent? And it's a very real challenge that a lot of other small business owners in different spaces are voicing to me as well. And Mimi, what's the source of that challenge? We've seen a decrease in our online business and online traffic and just engaging with our customers and cutting through the noise and distraction where shoppers are going to big box stores that we just genuinely cannot compete with. And we're seeing kind of a passive um, behavior from our customers where they aren't making an effort to shop small, shop local as strongly as they were in the past few years. Andy, are you experiencing the same thing? You operate a third generation family owned machine shop what challenges do you face that bigger companies don't have to worry about, like the big box stores that Mimi referenced? Yeah, what the thing for us is, fortunately, we own our property, so we don't have a rent issue. But we have seen our business soften over the last six months, and the uh, revenue is, is declined. And so we're out trying to find customers and, and more business. And, you know, we, uh, as a capital-intensive business, we have loans, and we still have to pay those and it just makes it real difficult on the cash reserves. Difficult on the cash reserves. Caitlin, are you seeing the same thing? Uh, you run a bakery in Delhi, and according to the report, restaurants had the highest rent delinquency rate at 52%, higher than any other industry. What are some of the biggest challenges you're seeing at the Delhi? You know, some of our biggest challenges are the inflation of our cost of goods. Um, a lot of our Prices for our ingredients have increased 20 to 40 percent in the last two years. We went from paying, you know, uh, $50 a case for eggs to sometimes we pay up to $90 for a case of eggs, and eggs go in just about everything we make. So our ingredients are just skyrocketing, and we can't increase our prices nearly as much as our prices are being increased for our customers. They don't want to pay double what they were paying two years ago. And Caitlin, I have to believe that that's part of the challenge. It's costing you more. You want to pass that on, but at the same time, you don't want to because you don't want to lose the loyalty from customers. Yeah, exactly. Mimi, what have you seen in terms of consumer shopping habits and how it impacts your business? You talked about how people are not being as dedicated to making sure that they support small businesses like maybe they were during the pandemic. How has that shifted and what do you want people to do? We've seen more conservative shopping patterns over the past year, and our customers are kind of um, tightening their purses, as we say. And we've heard that due to the recession and due to it being an election year now. And these are things that are totally out of our control as a small business owner. So we just want to remind our customers how important it is to have unique businesses like ours in their communities that are truly making an impact, whether it's through the jobs that we create, through the experience experience that we are creating through our shop and through our team. And we want them to remember to just show up for these businesses, whether it's the favorite bakery or the uh, mechanic or the boutique, to remember to shop first and prioritize shopping small. Caitlin, I kind of led with how friends of mine who are business owners themselves have challenged uh, have had challenges with finding staff and hiring people. How many employees do you have, and has it been hard for you to find people to actually work and hold on to the job? So we don't have any employees currently. It is my mom and I and my dad part-time. It's really hard to find um, people who actually want to work, and it's hard to pay them what they deserve to make because, you know, as a small business owner, we work hours and hours and hours a day and, you know, we have to make certain amounts to keep our doors open and to feed our families. So when we hire people that need to make 15 to $20 an hour, we're cutting 
our paychecks down to make sure that they get what they need to, you know, survive. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.